Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to David Place. My name is Evan, and today we're playing the Stanley Parable. One of those games you hear from everyone, everywhere, all the time. But I've never actually played it. I don't know what it is about, even though you hear about it all the time, everywhere. Let's begin game, let's do it. The end is never, the end is never, the end is never, the end is never. Loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Ooh. <laughs> I like this Stanley voice. worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. That's great. Isn't that the and whole then point? One day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, is that, is, is, is that what I did? Is that actually what I did? I mean, I think I might just stay here a while, you know? Explore my office, the safety of my office, maybe? I don't even know what controls, uh, options. Sure, that's fine. No, blah, 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 blah. All right, all right, all right. I'm like looking for something to interact with. Apparently, there's nothing. Fine, we'll we'll all exit. All these co-workers were gone. What Ooh. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. All right, and where is the meeting room? This is not the meeting room. This is an office. All right, all right. I'm gonna go to the meeting room after appreciating this beautiful painting. Mm-hmm. All right. Any instructions here? I'm looking for some instructions, some co-workers, perhaps? You, you look like you have instructions. Username, A-Axis. Did I turn it off without, without meaning to uh, turn it off? I don't Stanley know. went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any way. Gosh darn it, you have me. Eh. Fine. I'll do what you ask. Just like I've always when done before. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, the one on the left? Did I did? Okay, I'll fine. I'll, I'll I'll listen to you. I'll listen to you. I trust you, narrator of the video game. A narrator of a video game will never would never lead me astray. I trust you with my life. Uh, oh, what is this? The mirror room? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okie doke. Maybe we'll find an answer in there. I mean, broom closet. Ooh, what Stanley do we have here? stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Did I? Did I? Did I? Fine. <laughs> This, uh, this game is fun, I like it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'll listen to you for now, even though I get a feeling at some point I won't listen to you because I want... Oh, what is this fancy place? Maybe I should listen to you. You you, you bring me to all the f cool play Executive bathroom. Oh, I want to see that. Mm, dang it. I want to take a crap on the executive <laughs> bathroom. What is... No. Ooh. What a beautiful Stepping office. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, 
unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Ooh, what is what this? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Uh-huh. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Uh Oh, I see it. I'm loving this game. Oh, this is so much fun. You guys, you guys probably played this a bunch. I mean, everyone has played this game except me. You know, you know how I do? Play the game at least three years after everyone else plays it. At the very least. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down, down, baby. Bip, 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 bip. Oh, what is that line? Oh! Loading, 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 loading. <laughs> I'm liking this game it's so much fun. deeper into the building, Ooh. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It <sighs> was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Mm hmm. All right. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Mind Control Facility, escape. Uh, I mean, I like the comfort of knowing the, what I need to do. Of this voice just guiding me around. Escape, escape. It's, escape looks uh, chaotic. Like, too much chaos. This is scary. I'm just gonna... Mm, I don't want to... I don't want to do... I don't want to do the escape. So I'm gonna do the escape. I'm gonna do the escape because I don't want to do the Although escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Oh my gosh. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I'm so scared. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, I did it, guys. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it, but... As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, uh -oh. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this really is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end no. in his brief and shallow life. No, how to escape them, Stanley? No, no, no! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What the heck? <sighs> Holy moly. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? 
the two doors. The set of two doors opens was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley's Parables designs. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Credits, Stanley Parable. So I finished the game? Is this a game? Is this just like a big museum of the game itself? Is this just like a glorified credits roll? So I guess this game is designed to be obeyed and disobeyed. Does this mean that I disobeyed it too quickly? Too soon? Is there a way to restart the game? <laughs> Begin the game again, I guess. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, so... Let's see, how about... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go, let's disobey the... This was not the correct way to the meeting the room, and very Stanley start. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, look at this. Oh, the, the left, right? So what if I survey again? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Caution, do not lie if you're lying right now. Stop. Ooh! Is that someone there? I mean, that car seems to be on. I mean... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. <laughs> I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about not- What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Jesus Christ. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. All right. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map <laughs> because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate <sighs> these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> Take it for a spin. Should I go through the other doors? I kind of want to see what's here. Kind of see what want to see what's here. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. <laughs> I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Uh-huh. So, is one good or bad? This is... Okay, so four. we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. <laughs> this whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. 
Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Should I go through here again? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Uh -huh. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's uh -huh. a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <coughs> you heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's <laughs> over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, are you kidding well, me? Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I like I'm this game. I'm making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Okay. So you missed it. Like, if you would let me jump, here, this would be a great day. No. Here. And then... <laughs> Let's see. What does it need? I... Uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. It's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. <laughs> ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay. <laughs> this is great. We're playing Minecraft. The Stanley Parable. How the heck did they not get sued? Okay. Did, can, can I do something where I don't go mining? Uh, okay, I fell. Whatever. Let's go mining then. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? I have not. I do not have a light. But it's cool. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. <laughs> I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. Oh. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Portal. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this <laughs> game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. 
All right. Puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. All right, we're gonna put it here. Genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> I feel so good about myself. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt. Whoa! -ho -ho! Well, well, well. Work in progress. Fling cabinets. My, my, my. The Stanley Parable Alpha Test. This is such a fascinating game. I'm loving it. I was so... I was a bit taken aback by when the first time I lost that I died. Holy moly. I fell. Holy moly, where am I? But it got real interesting after that first playthrough. <laughs> so dark in here though. Is there a way out? Slender, is that you? <laughs> Ooh, there's a light over there. Oh, what is... What is that? Can I get there? I don't know. Is this open or closed? Okay. Let's see, what do we have here? The narrator is not here, apparently. What's this? Can I control anything here? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. The end is never. The end is never. The end is never. <laughs> We restart again. This is such a mind-bending game. Ah! How come? How did I never play this before? Okay, we're gonna try to do one, do it one last time. We're gonna do everything that narrator wants and see what happens then. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's see. Let's see if he does have a closure. When I Stanley doubt it. came to a I set of two it. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Left. Let's do it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There we go. Boss, bossy pa boss, 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 bossy pa boss, boss. Stepping boss, into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? What was it? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, 
looking behind paintings. D Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. <laughs> I guess I wasn't doing what the narrator wanted me to do now that I think about it. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly what the narrator wants me to do, but apparently that's not what I did. Uh, but uh, sorry, Mr. Being narrator. And rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Ooh, there was something here. Oh, maybe, maybe in some other <laughs> playthrough. Okay, so what's here? I guess I need to do, go downstairs. Narrator? Are you gonna guide me at all? Narrator, have you abandoned me? Don't live in me now. Now that I need you more than ever. Freaking narrator of Vendor. Stanley walked straight ahead oh. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Very well, here we are, here we are. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't know, you tell me, Mr. Narrator, do I have the strength? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yes, tell me more, Mr. Narrator. Yes, I'm liking your story very much. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? <laughs> oh, no. There was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mind controls, idle. I'm waiting input. Off. I did it, Mr. Narrator. Is this what is this what you wanted me to do? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes, <laughs> he had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. <laughs> Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, 
or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Did I? I guess I did. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> I did it, I bid the I bid the game. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the previous video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter. This was uh, a mind bending game. Ah that's uh, uh definitely like nothing ever I've ever played before. I know everyone must have played this already, so it's like commonplace to you guys by now. But that was fun, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you have any other game suggestions that are just like cool games like this. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to play more of, the, of uh, this. Maybe more of the Stanley Parable. Maybe we can like try to see what other secrets there is in the game. Let me know in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hope doesn't require signing papers or driving to hospitals or holding Joel in my lap. Hope is for something someone else has to do for us.